Hey YouTube, it is Rob. So one of the actually newer posters on the 8-Rack Primer thread posted a fairly interesting deck list. It's, it's definitely a variant of the 8-Rack formula, but um, it has an interesting interaction. Okay, so it's got four Grave Crawlers, which are kind of cool cards. They, uh, I mean, they're creatures, but they're like, you know, that guy that doesn't die sort of sort of a thing. But, you know, by themselves, they don't really do much. But he pointed out a really cool interaction, which is that, you know, Mutavault is a changeling. So you can, uh, let's say let's say you have two lands. Let's say you have Mutavault and the Swamp in play. Gravecaller's been killed. Um, you can tap the this for mana and turn it into, uh, you know, a uh, zombie, essentially, and then cast it with this. So, you know, you can have, like, a pretty much infinite stream of these guys, which may... I mean, that's a cool threat. Now, is it enough of a threat to let go of, you know, a good chunk of the hand control that you have to let go of to, to run something like that? Because it it does have a, a you know a solid amount I mean we've got our thoughts he's times four he's running IOK times one which is scary uh, Raven's crime times three which I like I'd like to see four but we're making room here now to compensate for some of the lack of of uh, discard density we're running dark confidence so we're really putting a lot of pressure on dark confident here but this would be an acceptable, I mean, if I was going to test him out in something, I would test him out in something like this where, you know, okay, he's not the only creature, all right, so he's not just guaranteed to be a 2cc dress for the most part. Um, I don't know. Uh, that's These are my initial thoughts. It, uh, now, that said, just looking at the list, it looks a little sloppy to me. I'm not really a huge fan of the Singleton Damnation main board. Um... You know, I don't like running less than four Ravens crimes in a strategy like this because it just does so much work. But, you know, I'm willing to pl play the list literally verbatim, even including the sideboard, which is kind of sloppy in my mind, too. But, um, you know, I I'm not a I've never been a big fan of the singleton sideboard approach where you run three main board or less than four main board and then keep some in the sideboard for the matches where they're relevant. I I'm not a huge fan of that. But, um, you know, the Doomblade and the um, Smother are interchangeable. So let's get started here and just, just try it out. Wait, let me name it something. We'll name it. something else just to sometimes I don't know if it's still that bug sometimes you have to click on other decks before it'll show up correctly here um, all right so there it is <coughs> playing it all right all right so what while I'm queued up here I'll just look at the deck list again real quick here Dun -dun -dun. all right so here we go um, yeah, I'll play first. Mm, yeah, I'll keep. Alright, so I'll lead, obviously, with IOK -OK here. My singleton. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so I'll take his Cascader. I almost never see this deck online. Even in, the, I mean, I'm only in practice right now, but I, I rarely see it, even in practice. Alright, so here... I think it's pretty safe to go Bob here. He 
He has no chance, even if he ripped one, he has no chance to um, cast it with just two lands. So that's why I felt it was safe not to thought seize him. Um, this, I believe, is going to come pretty much win the game for me, for the most part. Another Bob. Totally useless rip. Um, let's see here. Alright, so what do I want to do here? So I really need to use my Dark Confidence as a threat here, I think. I don't know if I want to or not. That seems awfully dangerous to me. And yeah, I don't want to. Because then I, my bridge will be useless. I'll be having too many cards in my hand. Um, so let me take a look at what he's got in there. I got my two of my singletons, two of the three singletons in here. I got the IOK and the Dakmore. Um, let's see. He's got reach. At some point, he's probably going to suspend this. I guess I'll do that. He's going to suspend it soon, but I'm not sure how much I care about that right now. The, the, the critical thing is I'm not seeing any Beast Withins, and the last I looked, like the most recent lists at the um, Pro Tour and stuff, they weren't running Beast Within, so hopefully that'll translate into online people not main boarding it. I didn't even see it in the sides, so I guess they're really not worried about the things that Beast Within can hit like that. that I mean, that without Beast Within, I don't know what they'll do to this. So there's my third singleton. So I've gotten, you know, it works here, but I question this. I mean, I guess as a singleton, it doesn't hurt you too bad. But uh, I just took four damage for that. I did get the Raven's Crime. Hmm. Or swing. pitch that to more future Raven's Crimes, we'll see. That can't hit Bob. Might be worth it here, huh? Dredge and Raven's Crime? I don't know. Yeah, I'll dredge it. I think that's a good... Oh, man, I lost my rack. Damn. Oh, well, you can never know.
I'm gonna play that tomb right now, just in case, because you know, I'm, I'm a little concerned about him casting his violent outburst right now. Yeah. And that's a good game for me. I should have just played this, but Three, four, three. Yeah, that's a good game. <coughs> All right. Um, the surgicals can come in for sure. Yeah, damnation too makes a little bit of sense here. Uh, grave crawler. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What don't I need? Take the bob since they died of the living end. Although it was kind of good. I, don't, I kept two. Alright, that's not bad. So he ley-lined me to, obviously it's for um, Raven's Grime, but it does have some splash on my grave crawler too, which makes me sad, Panda. Now maybe I'll be able to catch his uh, living end. What did he do? He cycled something? No, 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 he just didn't pay. What? Okay. Should be able to get. He's got to have one. He's not gonna go off next turn, so if he's got a living end in his hand, I'll ditch it. Nope. Okay, well. It's still not great. He, all he has to do is top deck um, while I land and then his cascade thing. I wanted to hit. So that ruins his day. He'll scoop. I mean, what's he gonna do? Yeah. that 
bridge again. That's good. Um, yeah, I think Grave crawl Crawler, and then I'll double Thought Seize him next turn. And swing the Grave Crawler. It's interesting. You know, I guess I never really considered it. Um, because, you know, without that Mutavald interaction, it's definitely not worth playing. But, you know, with the Mutavald, it kind of makes a lot of sense. It gives you some more, you know, it gives you a nice angle uh, of attack. Comes out turn one. Although you have to give away your turn one discard, I, I don't know. But in trade for that, you get threat on the board. So he's way low on lands, I guess. I think because I don't have the surgical extraction and no guarantee that I'll, I'll get it, I think I should do the the cascaders. I'm not seeing any kind of uh, beast within action from him. He's got one in the grave now, and you, oh, I can't, I can't re, uh, recast that, huh? Okay, whatever. Oh shit, Sin Collector. Oh, thank god. That's right. Forgot about that Sin Collector. Okay, get the bridge down now. Holy shit. Grave Crawler is doing a lot of work here, huh? Death by Grave Crawler. normally be able to keep him around or at least trade nicely with that, but doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. If I top deck a surgical, that'll be really good game. He might have ingot chewer in there. That's what I'm kind of concerned about.
That's why I swung with that thing. I figured he was going to cast that anyway. Well, that's good. He was dead next turn. So, cool. Well, I mean, just the first match, but, uh, hey, I beat Living End, which a lot of people do have problems with, so, uh, Bob was good in game one, and Gravecrawler was good in both games. Um, so interesting. Uh, I'll do some more testing and, uh, post the videos up. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys see any misplays, uh, please post on the video where I'm making misplays. Uh, I, I am trying to get better. I'm not a perfect player, so if you see me make a mistake, just feel free to post it up there. And uh, I, I do get them sometimes. People post comments, but like, oh, wow, good call, good catch. You know, thanks, thanks for doing that. I appreciate it. All right, later, guys. Bye.